Good morning, Aquarius. So we are using the Deviant Moon Tarot, and we are going to clarify using the traditional deck. I have already saged all of these cards um, and gone through my usual roll call <laughs> with your zodiac season. What is that issue, please, here for the collective Aquarius? What is that issue, please, here for the collective Aquarius? All right. Aquarius, this is quite fascinating. I think I may be speaking to Aquarius who are not with their person right now, but who once were um, in some kind of a situation ship. I think uh, somebody who is not having a good impact on your person is with them right now. And I think people are starting to notice. Even people who didn't like you, Aquarius, or people who thought you were weird, or people who advised your person, even your person's family and friends who all rooted against you, those people are noticing that your person is a shell of themselves without you. Um, and I'm going to show you what I mean and how I see this, and then we're going to clarify using the regular deck. I'm looking right here at the center of these cards. And I believe that your person is this man here. This, I believe that the future, if this is past to future going this way, <clears throat> over here, your person, at, you know, at, at present day, is is with the karmic, I believe, and he's looking old. I'm, my fingernail is pointing at him. Okay, hang on, let me get the focus here. You see that? He's looking old. Um. There's wrinkles around his eyes. And he's holding, it. that's a cane. There's some kind of a, you know, he's not physically well. I don't think he's doing well, you know. I'm, I'm not sure yet what is being hidden under there. Um, and I, I, I'm seeing voodoo, but it, I, I mean it in a metaphorical way, and I'll, I'll explain in a moment. The, other, the person he's playing chess with, and interesting that they're playing chess, because she likes games, right? The karmic is there playing games. Um, she looks great. She looks fantastic, well taken care of. She's probably just gotten back from the spa. Her nails are done. She's great, little hat there, and your person looks very, um, he's aged by, you know, it looks like 10 years. And in the middle of this reading here, uh, we've got the three of pentacles. They, maybe they had a child together, or she got pregnant or something, but what she's doing to her person here is she's changing his face, she's painting a mask on him. She's literally, and, and do you see how blood looks like it's coming down? Uh, and she's literally um, put it, putting a mask on him, uh, painting it on, or, or taking something off him that used to be there. And, and there's, you know, kind of blood spilling. Wow, underneath that card is the King of Cups. Uh, this could have been your person I feel in the past, because it's underneath what's going on right there. And look how healthy he looks. Look, his skin is nice and dark. Look how healthy and young he looks. And look at the cup of love that he had. And look what he's looking at. Love. You know. So there's an impact that, that this karmic had on your person. And I want to show you something. If I were to lift up this card and take these two cards, I think we have a, just look at that perfect pair. I believe, is this the King and Queen of Cups? Yes, it is, you know, but the problem is, you know, and he used to be focused on love, you used to be focused on love, but for some reason, um, you're not going in the same direction. And you know why? 
because this boat that's underneath your king was being um, captained. <laughs> the captain of the ship there was your person. She's directing where to go. You know? She is deciding where this boat is going. Underneath it is the five of wands, you know, the strife that she caused. So now, and you'll notice now that you're going in this direction with your cup of love. And look who's coming toward him, you know, in the past. The B-I-T-C-H. And there's blood. She's out for blood, you know. She's a knife at, in both hands. And, and the moon is looking kind of sad up there. The moon kind of knows, uh-oh, hang on now, see if I can get better focus. See the sad look on the moon's face? Okay, just before we get another set of cards, can I clarify, please? I want to first clarify the Queen of Swords over here coming in this direction. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Yep. Look at what she's going to bring on. Loss of money, illness, you know. Um, clarify the Queen of Cups, please. I believe this is you going in the other direction. Clarify the Queen of Cups, please. You're, I mean, you have so much love in your cup. It's spilling. You're literally um, trying to, trying not to spill. Yeah. So... Wheel of Fortune, something unexpected. It's, there has been some fateful event that caused you to walk away from this or that will cause. Just look at what's underneath you. A walk away. You know, the walk away is what you did, I think, or perhaps your person did it. Excuse me. Let's see what happens if we put this card in front of here. Or if we put this card over there. I think we put it in both places. You you were offering that cup and your person no 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 I don't I don't want your cups. You know. Um or it could have been you walking away from a situation walking away from your person because they're a shell of themselves, because they're not themselves anymore. Let's clarify this, and then we'll go on and get some, uh, get another spread. What I'm looking at now is the is the impact that this karmic had on your person. Um, it's it's like she's giving him a new personality, a new face, but she's painting. She's, I mean, something is coming off and something is going back on. So it's like she's taking part of his original personality away. Can we clarify the three of pentacles in the um, in this position uh, with the regular deck, please? It's too many, but I will look at the top ones. Sorry, guys. Yeah, again, we've got the five of pentacles, you know, the five of cups, um, you know, an injustice. Um, we've got, you know, either something fast for uh, communication, ability to communicate, somebody tied up. Uh, I believe that's the karmic. I believe this is people noticing, whoa, that your person went from being this, this beautiful, solid, healthy person, to this, to the wa a walking dead, the walking dead. A shell of themselves and just look at how now friends and family you know underneath uh, there's a there's a mother or a bishop you know there is a mother and a child and a bishop up here now they're begging the grim Reaper, reaper please please don't let him be dead and it's quite possible that that king lying on the ground is what your person used to be um, it could be metaphorical before the karmic came along you know, it's funny because uh, the death card 
um, one of the interpretations of the death card is that the reason why you have a bishop, um, you have a woman, you have a child, you have all people of all sorts of different ages, races, um, and occupations begging um, the Grim Reaper, no, please don't let the king be dead. Um, but one interpretation is it doesn't matter, um, you know, what age you are or what, um, you know, where you are in life, if you're rich or you're poor. Well, what's funny is um, you all die. You know, that was the uh, everybody has to die. But it, uh, in this context, there are all these people in the community, um, uh, you know, your person's uh, family, perhaps there were uh, there was a mother or, and there were friends and, and notice how the bishop is there. So perhaps they were a certain religion. There maybe have been a whole whack of reasons why they didn't want you to be with your person. And now they see um, how your person has lost his zeal, lost his zest for life. Um, he's not grounded and you might have noticed that you know your person was once very grounded and calm and focused and attractive and um, had this zest um, and you know everybody he was energy was very um, um, you know magnetic he was articulate you know he or she and now perhaps after being with the karmic um, you know, for nine or ten months or two years or whatever, however long, his family and friends who used to hate you have been horrified because they've realized, oh my God, the very person that we thought, that we advised, you know, against, um, that person was was nourishing, you know, our son or nourishing our friend or and even people who hate you, Aquarius, who don't like you, maybe they're jealous of you, or they think that you're, they think that, you know, you're weird, or because, or you're a different religion, or, you know, they may just not understand you at all. Maybe you have a bad reputation or something. All the things that they thought were important, and they, you know, that they put first when they advised your person on, on whom to pick. Now they feel sad guilty you know and and like a fool and their heart is broken for their friend or for their person and they cannot it suddenly hits them suddenly hits them huge epiphany um and and hopefully they are regretful because they should be because you see they 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 had ill advised your person and it was to your person's detriment and they hated you so much and, and probably still hate you. But the amount of good that you did for your person, the amount of improving, the amount of beautiful energy you gave them, no matter how they were treating you. I mean, uh, they may have been treating you terribly. You know, they didn't care about that. They probably just thought you were a fool or a doormat. But little did they know it was you who was gradually improving them, praying for them, meditating for them, you know, get, doing things behind the scenes that their family and friends wouldn't even think of doing because they're self, because of their selfishness, you know. Um, and you weren't doing these things to get credit. You truly love. Unconditional love is what does that. Unconditional love drives us to really want people that we love to do better. It hurts us when they're not doing well. You know, you guys are rare. You've got to remember that. But what's really, really ironic here is you've got friends and family of your person whose hearts are breaking because they see the damage that the karmic did uh, and, the, and, they, and it's hit them, these dummies. It's hit these dummies that Aquarius, the impact you had on them was to nourish them. And the reason why their hearts are broken, not because they feel guilty about you, because they're hurt. It, it hurts them to watch your person, um, a shell of himself or herself. So, uh, you know, now they actually, as much as they hate you, they want you to be back together. But it may be too late. Too bad they didn't think of that before, you know. Okay, let's get our second... Uh layout now and see what's going on this is really interesting aqua really really interesting 
boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know. All right, so I'm going to get a rhythm going, and I'm going to do another roll, and then we'll lay out the um, the second. Uh, all right, so what of this? What are we looking at now? What's happening now, please? Wow. Uh, so I, um, ten of pants, ten of wands. Wow. Okay, just one moment. Okay, I believe I know what's going to come out, but we're going to let it come out in a in an extended split. Can we have an extended split, please? What I'm going to do is, if, if it won't extend itself, I'm just going to take these out, and then can we have the remainder of this split, please? Okay, one, two, three, just a moment. Okay, one moment. And so something else that everybody's noticing is that this karmic is just not happy, no matter what she's given. So over here, <clears throat> we have you, the fool. And you're just, you know, you're just doing your thing. You, I believe you're completely um, wanting to have nothing to do with whatever's going on here. So here they are, you know, your person looking old, something uh, very, something bothering him quite a bit, or her, whoever your person is. Uh, it's being hidden. This person, your person, is not happy. Uh, they're suffering. Um, something, it, you, they, they are starved for your attention, whatever your energy is that, that you gave it, that you gave to them, they are literally going to die if they don't get that kind of, it's, it's some kind of unconditional love. There's something about your energy that they're, they're literally starving for and it's aging them that they're not getting it. This karmic doesn't even know what it is, so... <laughs> Um, she she doesn't even she doesn't know how to nurture anyone. You can tell. In fact, all she knows how to do is draw blood. Right here, we've got the seven of pentacles, and she's bored, actually. So she got up one night because she she's not happy. She can't wait, you know, for things uh, to to improve, and uh, and she pricks um, she pricks that it, just just trying to see for herself what are, what do I really what am I really going to get out of this? Let me just see. You know, um, and so there's the poor old king underneath that. You know, he's probably horrified when he gets a, a bigger look at the picture. He could be a Virgo um, or a Gemini. But he realizes she's just a trickster. There's nothing, nothing that um, he can do to make her happy. You know, a, she's a cheater. She's probably after his money. There she is, the empress. This is a very materialistic empress. She looked at... Um, you know, she looked at her romantic relationship with your your person as a business deal. See that? As some kind of a business deal. And and what mattered was, here's your person having to show how much, here's the money, here's how much money I have, you know. And here's you. Here's, here's what was underneath that if they had chosen you. Look at this, Queen of Cups. Look at this smile. He probably hasn't smiled in eons, you know. And look at you. You would have given him the world, you know. And and what did he do? He ended it with you. He ended it with you. And he betrayed you. Ten of Swords betrayal. Mocked you, mimicked you, lied to you. And then decided to go put work in. I roll up his sleeves. Ah, I'll go get that karmic. Now, everybody, he, he did this to prove a point. You know, that he doesn't like you. He actually did this to prove to everyone that he doesn't like you. Um, or that he, you know, that, no, I'm not in love with her. He, he actually did this to prove a point. You know, and here's you getting the news. You know, perhaps that they got married or something. And maybe they, you know, maybe when you heard about it. I don't know. I, there's just something really sad about that. Um so here's your karmic pushing your person. I, I think she's trying to get him to make decisions, more money. And he's actually having to dig, you know, into his dig up these these uh, savings to keep her going. 
Yeah, cause she's not, he's worried, you know, I don't know if I'm going to stay or go. Maybe she's pregnant, you know, it's thinking about having an abortion or something because it's not the right time. Who knows? You know, looking at her money, you know, and little does he know she's still out for blood. You know, he may just be realizing this now. You know, it may have taken some time, tick tock, for him to realize this, but he may just be realizing, oh yeah, he is. Because now he feels terribly bad. He's guarded about what's next with this karmic. Oh, yeah. And he's receiving karma. He's looking back and realizing what an incredibly bad choice, you know, this karmic was. I'm trying to get a focus. I'm so sorry. There we go. Yeah. A lot of... Um, yeah, and probably because it was, I, I think this is her personality, the karmic. She's probably, by the way, very promiscuous. Um, and, and she's, uh, yep, yeah, there she is. There she is. You know, who is she? Look, look at that. He knows half of that person. Hopefully it'll be revealed soon. Yeah, and he's really worried. Who did I marry? <laughs> and he's beginning. Now, these are other people. I think his friends and family are really beginning to see. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. I think what they're beginning to see is her personality. That's her. She could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And that's this is what she's really like. And that's what she's doing to your person. You know, you know, and this is, uh, you know, before, you know, this happened, I believe this is the karmic in your person doing a little dance, probably on your broken heart. Look at them. They're connected and look at what they're all about. Mr. And Mrs. Deception, you know. Yeah. Threw off everybody's balance, you know, I think. As well, this is you. Just look at the wings. I think your person is remembering, you know, what a beautiful person you were. And how, um, you know, you nourished. You did things that were impossible. You know, maybe she's asking him to do all these things that she doesn't know how to do. And he's remembering, or she's remembering all. Oh, and he's he or she is probably remembering. This was the Ten of Cups, you know, that I should have had. You know, with you, maybe, maybe my person was missing a leg, you know, maybe they, they were a little weird, um, you know, and look how, look at her hand uh, around him. She's embracing him, you know, maybe, I don't know. She looks like she could be a different religion. Maybe she was a different religion. There was something about you, Aqua, um, that his family didn't like, or his friends, there was something that they teased him about or there was some reason why it was a problem, right? And so why this um, Knight of Pentacles offer went to... Now, notice how this Knight of Pentacles looks like a woman. Is she she drove that, um, that offer. She probably bought the engagement ring, for God's sakes. Um, you know, and there's the chariot... And the, oh, they probably quit. They probably traveled somewhere to get married, the chariot and the hierophant. They probably got married in a place where they were hope that were, you know, they were hoping that you'd find out. You know, maybe they, maybe they traveled where you live and got married right in your own community or something. There was travel involved um, with their, with their marriage, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, and you're under here. So they were, look at this. They were literally hoping that you would find out this is why they traveled to your hometown for you to get married. Something like that. There's something related to where um, the marriage took place and they were truly hoping to, to break your heart, you know. Something like that anyway. Sorry, this is a bit long. Now, I think we're going to switch to the regular deck to get the remainder of the reading. One moment. Actually, no, I think I think we'll do it this way, the way we've been doing it. Can we 
see what's happening now. With the focus on um, the change in Aqua's person and where is this going? Okay, I've got several. One, two. Okay, let's see if I can make sure they come out. Three, four. Oh, there's one more. Hang on. Ah, make sure I'm getting it up properly. Wow, okay. Okay, this one wants to go over there. This is really interesting. One moment, Aqua. We are going to use the regular deck to clarify these, okay? Wow. Okay, I'll lay out the clarifiers first. Um, clarify the moon, please. Clarify the moon, please. I feel like it's right here. Okay. Um, clarify the, um, we've got the five of swords there, please. Who's doing the five of swords? I believe it's here. Wow. Clarify the nine of pentacles. It's definitely right here. Okay. Clarify the hanged man, please. Thank you. Clarify the page of wands. Ugh. Clarify the eight of swords, please. That's it right there. Oh, okay, and clarify the Ten of Cups is your outcomes. Wow, I'm going to have to do double clarification for that. Can we clarify, um, we've got Jupiter in Gemini and the Ten of Cups. Clarify Jupiter in Gemini, clarifying. Okay, this makes perfect sense. Okay, just one moment. So with these cards over here, what I'm seeing is that there has been an opportunity for all of the deception and the trickery and the lies to be revealed. Um, and what's also been revealed is where they were coming from. You see, you and your person, I, I think I'm speaking to an Aquarius. Um, here's the beautiful balance that you brought to your person's life that nobody knew about while you were seeing them okay they didn't realize what you were bringing to your person's life until this it's contact between you and your person stopped and i believe um that the contact between you and your person um i'm looking at uh I, number 18 so um, I'm going to add those numbers together. They may have been able to observe your person with the, with the karmic for about nine months. And what they've noticed is that it, things have gotten worse. Since things ended with you, they're still seeing it by an increased amount this Five of Swords saucy, manipulative energy. Um, they're seeing, uh, you know... Your person who once was an emperor, they're seeing him having been betrayed by the karmic. You know, they, they went from an emperor, a king of pentacles, to a page of pentacles. They're seeing a loss of money. And what once was a king of pentacles is now a king of swords. You know, nasty. Uh, and, and have a look at his behavior. So I think they're, and look at this, four swords again. All of this as a result of absolutely zero contact between you and your person. So I believe they're rethinking, you know, the ending that they once suggested was a good idea between you and your person. I think that's what's going on. Yeah, look, because um, everyone's been able to put this under a microscope. And they're now looking at you, Aqua, in that and going, whoa, her energy is really valuable. You know, who cares what we think of her or him? What were we doing, you know? And can we can we get our person back again? Well, maybe not, because you left you left you left they left your person with the karmic for nine months. That's nine months of her or his uh, manipulation, exposure, and toxic energy. Yeah, and just to demonstrate, here's you, right? Here's the Nine of Pentacles lady, the woman of worth with the magical nourishing energy, you know, and there's the Wheel of Fortune. 
So this person, um, you know, it was quite a bit of time. They've had a total cycle away from you. And, they ha and their luck has gone down. They're getting karma. Um, you know, this person now looks 10 years older um, to, to their friends and family than they were. They're not lucky anymore. You know, you, they were lucky to have you. You know, this is like you, getting your energy is like winning the lottery. Hanged man. So now, wow, it's suddenly they're getting it. They're getting it. What are they getting? There's no more confusion. What they're getting is that when they were in this Venus in Scorpio choice, choice point, you know, they recommended the wrong darn cup. And now, and now they're in a panic wondering, oh God, what do we do? What do we do? Is it too late? Is it too late? What do we do? And of course, over here, this saucy, you know, bubble cum, bubble gum smacking, saucy, ponytail wielding, Karmic there is worried because she knows she knows that you that your people your person's people have got their number yeah and it's funny so here under here um was the sort of the karmic pile <laughs> um and the cards that wanted to poke out yeah so there's uh, uh, the karmic could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There she is um, with your person who looks 10 years older. Look at what she does to him or he does to her. Look at this. This is what's going on now in the home if they're together, the karmic and your person. Um, she's unbearable. She's unbearable. She doesn't clean up any mess. She blames everything on him. Um, and keeps him stuck, keeps him stuck, is probably driving him to drink, you know. And finally, now, Aquarius, there's a real possibility here um, that because what people have noticed, there's a possibility, first of all, that your person's own family may ha be having a good long look at this and may actually, for once, turn him in the right direction um, because they're noticing that your person is not happy, is a shell of themselves, is worried, stressed, has lost weight. Um, and But what they're also noticing is that, do you see that red dress? She, her, she has a passion to come toward you, Aquarius, or he has a passion to come toward you. But, they're, but they, they have to get rid, they have to cut these ties from the karmic first. And I believe what's happening is that this time, somehow, you're going to have the support. Now, I don't know. It could be too late. And you may very well be uh, off with somebody else right now or starting something else. I do believe that you're going to have the support of their family, even if you are missing a leg, you know, or, or you have to, uh, or you're wearing um, a, um, a, a burqa or, a <laughs> what a, you know, or you, you are of a different religion. Whatever it was that they held against you or that your person held against you, um, there may have been a lie, you know, that has to be cleared up. Who knows? So the, the, um, it's going to go from this to this, if it's not too late. And I do believe that your person, when your person comes to you in this, um, in this mode, in night of pentacles mode, I'm so sorry, I can't get there. Um, did you see the moss growing out of his helmet? Um, I believe there's a little moss somewhere else. But anyway, uh, it's taken, believe me, he's taken far too long, long enough that that there's some, some shrubbery growing out of his helmet. Um, but there's so much optimism in this card, you know. So for a small portion of you, you might still be willing to entertain this I, I would suspect for a large portion of you, no, because it's just been too long. Um, but at least you know that um, definitely I feel that for all of you, that family and friends of your person um, are very saddened um, to discover that they really, truly uh, messed up, fooled up when they recommended 
someone else over you. Anyway, I love you so much, Aqua. Thank you for watching.